Hello and welcome to Code and Magic channel. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the process of setting up OpenGL with GLFW and GLAD. And you may ask, what is OpenGL? Well, OpenGL is a powerful graphics rendering API, and which is application programming interface. And it provides a set of functions that enables developers to create and manipulate graphics in a cross-platform manner. OpenGL is widely used in various fields, including game development, computer graphics, scientific visualization, and virtual reality. And for setting up OpenGL, we need GLFW and GLAD. You may ask, what is GLFW? Uh, well, GLFW provides a straightforward and easy to use API for creating windows and handling user input and making it easier for beginners. It is cross-platform, allowing you to develop applications that can run on different operating systems such as Windows, macOS, and Linux. Uh, GLFW also handles various Windows-related tasks such as creating windows, and OpenGL context, handling input events such as keyboard and mouse, and managing windows resizing and full screen modes. And we will use the latest version of GLFW, and you may ask, what is GLAD? Well, actually, GLAD is simplifies the process of managing OpenGL function pointers. It generates platform-specific code for loading OpenGL functions and make it easier to use OpenGL in a cross-platform manner. With GLAD, you can dynamically load uh, the required OpenGL functions at runtime, ensuring compatibility across different platforms and OpenGL versions. Well, now uh, we want to download OpenGLFW uh, for downloading this, we need to go to download and based on, we are going to use pre-compiled binaries and based on your operating systems, you can download one of them. I will download the 64-bit Windows binaries and I already have them here. You see that it has different versions and it uses the, based on the Visual Studio, type of Visual Studio you use. And I'm going to use Visual Studio 2022 here. And I want to use this include libraries and in the Visual Studio. So to start, I will create an empty C++ project. And for the project name, I want to say, I want to set the project name as OpenGL Setup. And the project solution tutorial, so solution name, I will say OpenGL tutorial. Okay. So I will create a project which is empty. And to make sure if it is working correctly, I will create a main.cpp file. And I will include I will stream. This is like just to make sure that we are doing okay. And yeah, hello OpenGL and it returns zero. Well, uh, here I'm going to switch to show all files to make sure I'm seeing everything correctly. Well, here I have a main CPP and I don't see extra folders here. And if I come to the directory of the file that I created this project, here we see that I have the main CPP file with the extra files that I that is here. And here I want to add the GLFW files to my project. I suggest um, for every OpenGL project you create your own folder of dependencies in the root of the project. Dependencies. And in the dependencies I will create another folder which is include 
and the other one which is lib. In this folder I will add the include files and here I have one. I will copy it here and because I'm using Visual Studio 22 I will add this file here. I only need the glfw3.lib I will not copy the others so here I will copy it in the lib folder well now um, I want to make sure that I'm doing it in a correct way so what I do is actually I'm going to come here to down to the documentations folder and here's the basic scripts to make sure that we are running the glfw in a correct way I'm not gonna go through to line by line to explain this and I'm going to do it in the next videos and I'm just gonna make sure that I'm setting up the glfw correctly so you see the, the red lines are indicating that the glfw is not set up so I will right click on the project here I will go to properties in the C++ general here is a section that says additional include directories here I have to uh, I will do a refresh first and you can see the dependencies here I have these dependencies and the red lines indicates that is not included yet I will include it by right clicking on it okay now they are included in the project okay I want to say to the project setting that this is my include folder and this is my library folder so I will come to properties C++ you have to make sure that is all configuration and my current platform is 64 <clears throat> so in the general additional include directories first I will say solution directory backslash open gl setup backslash dependencies backslash include include okay and here's the include folder i also copy this and apply this I will come to linker general additional library directories and I will paste it here and I just need to change the last part which has to be lib okay this is my directory solution directory opengl setup dependencies backslash lib as you will see it here okay well I will apply and the other thing that we need to do is to uh, in the section additional dependencies we have to have had um, a few library names here for example we are using the glfw3.lib I will copy its name and I will add it here and we also need opengl32.lib and we also need user 32.lib and gdi 32.lib and also shell 32.lib okay that's what we need in the additional dependencies okay apply okay now if i run the project you'll see that we have the hello window here with the hello world title and we are successfully using glfw now we have to add a glad which uh, glad is basically a library to help you manage open gl function pointers ensuring compatibility across different platforms so here in the GLAD, I make sure that the language C and C++ and the specification is OpenGL. For the GL, I will use the minimum version for 3.3, which is the basic version for core profile. 
and I also make sure that I select core in the profile section. Also, you have to make sure that is this one is checked, generate a loader. Okay, now if I press the generates, it will give me this. And I if I download the glad.zip, it will give me these files, which is an include and a source file. So, as you saw it before, we have an include folder in our project directory. So basically, I will come here and copy these files from glad to here, to my project directory. And also, this one is a C file. So I just copy it and paste it next to my main.cpp. Well, now if I open my folder, uh, Visual Studio and refresh, I will see that I have a glad.c here and I will include it in the project and also I will include in the root directory to make sure everything is included. Now if I run again, everything works correctly and uh, no problem with the uh, glad libraries. Okay, and if I clean solution and rebuild solution and you will see that rebuild all success with no fail. Well, that's how we set up OpenGL with GLAD and a GLFW. In the next videos, we will walk you through what these lines are meaning and we used GLAD as well and we move forward to learn OpenGL. Thank you for watching.